starting with a big roasting chicken. First thing I want to do is salt and pepper the inside of the cavity. Lots of salt inside to give it lots of flavor. And lots of pepper. And I'm going to take a whole head of garlic. I'm not even going to peel it. Just cut it right in half. And all that garlic flavor just gets right into the chicken. It's going to be delicious. And the next thing I'm going to do is lemons, because I love the way lemon tastes in chicken. So I'm just going to quarter this and put that right into the chicken just that way. Big sprig of fresh thyme right in the middle. All this is really just to give the chicken more flavor as it roasts. Just tie these guys together. This is really about making sure that the chicken cooks evenly. If the legs are flapping around in the pan, they're going to cook faster than the rest of the chicken. And the wings are the same thing. You don't want them flapping around in the pan. So what you want to do is just turn them backwards and tuck them right underneath the body of the chicken. And it keeps them close, just like that. I'm just going to brush the whole top with butter, just to make sure that it has lots of flavor and that it browns really nicely in the pan. I'm going to sprinkle it with lots of salt and pepper. And now comes the surprising part. I'm going to put strips of bacon over the top, which is going to actually give it lots of flavor. And then later, I'm going to crumble the crisp bacon into the salad. So it's going to be a combination of dishes. I'm going to add more flavor to the sauce, too, by putting in garlic in the pan. Another whole head of garlic, just cut right in half. I'm going to roast it in the pan. And then the juices from the chicken are going to make a sauce with the garlic. And I think I'll put in two lemons. So these are the flavors in the chicken, but it's also going to add to the sauce. Cut off the ends, and then just cut it in half, and do big wedges. And you'll see the lemon is going to brown, and it's going to have great flavor right in the sauce, just right in the pan, sort of instead of vegetables. OK, so I think it's all ready. 425 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. Boy, does that look good. Wow. So I'm going to take the bacon off, put it aside, and let it get nice and crisp. And then I'm going to crumble it on the salad later. Wonderful. OK, I'm just going to baste it a little bit. So it browns nicely in the lemons. Ah. Now, does that look like a chicken? That looks great. <laughs> Just put this on a platter. Get all the lemon. And now the bacon that was cooking on top of the chicken. I'm going to cut it up right into the salad. It's great to have something crispy in it. Great. So what I've got is I've got three boneless chicken breasts. But first, tenderize them. And also, to make them even, I'm going to pound them until they get about a half an inch thick. OK, so that's the chicken. And next, the marinade. I need two cups of buttermilk. Actually, the acidity in the buttermilk tenderizes the chicken. OK, that's two cups of buttermilk. And I've got a sliced shallot. Two large cloves of garlic, which I'm going to smash, which is going to really bring out the oils and the flavor. That's one. Two cloves of garlic, and then one jalapeno, seeds and all, the whole thing. Just put it right into the marinade. Salt and pepper, two teaspoons of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. And just give that a big stir, just to get the flavors all mixed in. So that's the marinade, now the chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in half. They're huge. I'm just going to put them in the marinade. The thing about the marinade is you want to be sure that you marinate it for long enough so the flavor gets into the chicken. So that's about eight hours, but not too long. I think more than 24 hours, it tends to break down a little bit. So I've already got chicken that's been marinated. So the next thing I want to do is make the coating, and that's the really crisp part. So I've got three and a half cups of flour. So it's four teaspoons of baking powder, which is basically one tablespoon plus a teaspoon. And what that's going to do is make it really light and crisp. Next is smoked paprika. That's going to season it a lot. Two and a half teaspoons. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's going to make it really hot. <laughs> and one teaspoon of celery salt. One tablespoon of salt, kosher salt, 
and one and a half teaspoons of pepper. I'm just gonna stir those together and it's gonna make a really kind of light, spicy, crispy coating. Okay, ready to dip the chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each piece of chicken out of the marinade, let it drip a little bit, put it in the flour, and this is the trick. Put it back in the marinade, and then back in the flour. This is what's gonna make the coating so crispy. So now I need a big pot of canola oil, about two inches deep, and I need it 350 degrees, which is exactly what it is right now. So I'm gonna put three pieces in. You don't wanna crowd them, and do it carefully, because it's very hot oil. Cook them for two and a half minutes. Turn them. Let them sizzle away for another two and a half minutes. Anybody feel like fried chicken? And I would say that is all American fried chicken. I need two teaspoons of fresh thyme leaves, one teaspoon of whole fennel seeds, a tablespoon of salt. It seems like a lot, but it's a whole chicken. A teaspoon of pepper. I'm just gonna grind it all up together. This is a mini food processor. It's really useful. It comes in all different sizes. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm just gonna take a third of a cup of olive oil, and I'm gonna mix the herbs right into it. I'm just gonna put all the spices right in. And salt and pepper, all the flavors. Just whisk it right in. Okay, that's the herb oil. Next, I need a lemon. Just do thick slices. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the lemon in, just kind of in one layer, the whole lemon. And next, I have one yellow onion. I'm just gonna put it right on top. And then I have two cloves of garlic that I thinly sliced. Just put them right on top. Next, the chicken. So what I have is a butterfly whole chicken. I asked the butcher to take the back out and what he did was flatten it like this. So I'm gonna start with the skin side down, and I've got my herb and oil mixture. I'm just gonna brush half of the herb and oil mixture on the bottom of the chicken, on the underside of it. Just brush it right on, it's really easy. It's got so much flavor in the fennel and thyme, salt and pepper, it all gets into the chicken. And then I'm gonna turn it over, grab it by its little legs, turn it over like that. And then what I do is I take a paper towel and dry the top, because I want the skin to brown, and that'll help it brown. And the oil and the herbs will do the same thing. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of this on top, brush it, make sure it's completely covered. How good does this look already? I mean, it's such a good chicken because it cooks really high temperature, it's really fast, and then the lemon and the onions and the garlic and the juices from the chicken make the most delicious sauce. So good together. It's like a meal all in one. Okay, into the oven, 450 degrees for 30 minutes. Whoa, that's a really hot oven. Then I'm gonna put a little wine in, cook it for another 15 minutes, and it's gonna be perfect. Okay, I think the chicken's cooked for half an hour. And now I just need to put some wine in, about a half a cup. I make sure I put it around the chicken, not over it, because I really want the skin to brown and it'll stop it from browning. Perfect. Okay, back into the oven for 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna squeeze a lemon on it, give it lots of flavor, and then let the whole thing rest for 15 minutes. It's gonna be fantastic. Wow, so good. Okay, the last thing I wanna do is put some lemon on it. When the chicken's hot, it just really absorbs the lemon flavor. And then I'm just gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes. I'm just gonna cover it with aluminum foil loosely, just keep it warm. Very hot, be careful. Okay, right back in the sauce, and then I actually serve it right in the pan. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make the crust for the chicken. I'm gonna do a cup of flour, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna mix that all together. I need two eggs, about a tablespoon of water, I need a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna use actually ground Parmesan, and for this it has to be very finely ground. Put it in the food processor, and then just grind it up. I just need a half cup. 
right into the breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna mix that together. Now for the chicken. And you pound it so it's tenderized and it's actually very even. So this is time for rolling pin. So I'm just gonna pound it really thin. Okay, that's done. Time to cook the chicken. A tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of olive oil. And I want to take each chicken breast. First dip it in the flour. Make sure it's completely coated. Shake it off. Dip it in the egg and water. And then dip it in the breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. Okay. Right into the pan. I'm gonna cook it for about two to three minutes on each side. Okay, this is nice and brown on this side. I'm just gonna turn it over. Oh, does that look good? Perfect, browned on that side. And you can tell if the chicken bounces back, it's perfectly done. Onto the sheet pan. Mm. Okay, into the oven, very low oven, 200 degrees, and that'll stay warm until we're ready for dinner. So the hot chicken and the cold salad, it's just a great combination. I'm going to start with the chicken, about four to five pounds, a whole chicken. And the first thing I'm going to do is pat it dry. And that helps it brown when it's in the oven. And then salt it inside and out. Lots of salt. You want it to have fantastic flavor. And pepper. I want lots of flavor in it. So I'm going to take lemon. I'm just going to cut it in big quarters, just like that. I'm going to put half a lemon inside the chicken. And then when it roasts, all the lemon juices and the chicken, and then I'm going to put garlic in, too. So that's going to roast in. You don't have to peel the garlic. You don't have to do anything. Just cut it right in half, and all that fabulous garlic is going to be in the chicken. Right inside. OK. Into a roasting pan. And then we're going to cook it with lots of wonderful flavors, onions, more lemon. First, I'm going to tie this little guy together. All you have to do is tie the legs together. Just take the wings, just tuck them under. A little olive oil so it browns beautifully. Just drizzle it on. Clean hands are the best tools. And salt and pepper on top. I want this to be the best chicken ever. Okay, that's the chicken. Next, I'm going to do lemons and onions. And I'm going to mix them together and roast them with the chicken. And not only will I serve them with the chicken, but it's going to become the sauce, too. It's going to be fab. So I've got the half a lemon that I've left over. I'm going to do another lemon. And of course, the juice makes the sauce, which is fabulous. So I'm going to cut up big, thick slices of two Spanish onions. I actually like Spanish onions. They're a little sweeter than regular onions. This is lots of vegetables. It makes lots of sauce and vegetables to serve along with it. It's big, rough slices. Two tablespoons of good olive oil. Just drizzle it on top. About a teaspoon of salt. This is why I like to do it in a bowl, so you get it really well mixed. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Clean hands again. OK, I'm going to take all of this and just put it right around the chicken. And it's all going to roast together. All the chicken juices and the lemon juices and the onions, they're all going to cook together. And it's going to be so delicious. This is my version of the Glamour Magazine Girls engagement chicken. OK, into the oven, 425 degrees. And depending on how big the chicken is, it'll be about an hour and 15, an hour and 30 minutes. And this is going to be the most delicious engagement chicken.